So um, on the on the question of of the um, of the of the recall con, con, congress, it is it's, it is possible that there'll be more attempts at shenanigans. I think for me the important thing is actually. Joe was saying about whether or not we support the whether or not you support the Sally Hunting. I think there are there are opportunities and real challenges involved in that. To be honest with you, I think that you can on the one hand you can say, look, Sally Hunt did uh, you, you know sprung something uh, on the membership that was unfair, and at the last Congress, clearly did something that is not going to be supported by huge numbers of members in 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 the union. Um, but then there's a question. There are questions of what happens if you get what happens if there's a by-election and Sally Hunt restands. Sally Hunt will stand as someone who just delivered quite a significant win, uh, as it's perceived by the majority of people who voted in the in, in the union um, at, on the highest ever mandate uh, on, on a turnout. Was leading strikes in FE, and it seemed to be leading strikes in FE, and is currently mobilising. Uh, and arguing for strike uh, for positive strike ballots in the pay strike, um, I I think that we have I think we have a bit of an issue where there is there is this issue of ultra leftism I think and it's but it's a health in some ways it's a very healthy one because there's a dynamic that has come out of the strike of a very highly active mobilised network group of activists um, but they number in the you know in the in in the thousands in a union of, what, 120,000 or, or, or something like that. And so I'm, not, so I'm not saying now whether, I'm, you know, maybe the Congress has changed the picture. It, it is possible. I'm, I haven't been in touch with things enough over the last week, and I'm not here to lay down a line or anything. It is possible. But then there's also the question of, if we are able to, to win, uh, and, to, and, 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 and for a left-wing candidate to win, and I think that's a long shot, to be honest. Actually, Mali is quite... a uh, a, a salutary lesson of what happens when you have a left-wing uh, leader who is able to get in on, on one basis without having an organized and active grouping that is pushing and forth. For example, if there was a left-wing leader elected, would they then be a hostage to an NEC that is majority IBL, who are to the right of Sally Hunt? It's not the case that Sally Hunt and the IBL are the same, but IBL are to the, left, are to, are to the right of Sally Hunt. So I think there are all kinds of complications that can't simply be addressed by saying we're going to have a vote to get rid of, 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 of Sally Hunt. Although, what we can do is say this is an absolute um, you know, disgrace to the democratic procedures of this, uni of, of this union. We should be fighting and saying it is a matter of principle that these motions should be heard. Actually, there may be a majority in the conference to call for... Uh, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there is. Perhaps we should call for, uh, uh, for no confidence and call on her to resign. I honestly, I'm not clear on, the, on, on whether or not we should do that. And I think that there's going to be discussion about that in a meeting that's going on in an hour or two. And, 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 also, and I think this is a discussion that, that needs to be had. But I don't think it's as simple as we can, we can get rid of them. Just very, just very quickly on a few other things. Um, I think that um, that question of... Um, of you know the, of, of of people changing in struggle that 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 Pete, that Pete mentioned. I saw it so often every day on those picket lines that I was on. The way in which people were like developing their capacities to do things, you know, bringing in skills that they've got from other sectors of their career or from their life, and bringing it to bear on the strike was was phenomenal. There was also the way in which I mean, Danny just left, but yeah, the crossover between the people who were on strike. Uh, and who were campaigning in IWGB, the FE strikes that were going on. You know, we we had, you know, the Tau Hamlet stuff that was going on. The picket, the, the pickets that have been going on since. And there's been a lot of crossover there. There is a huge question about how do you keep that going? How do you keep wh what is the what is the structure? What are the forms that you can use to keep that going? And one of the things that we've been talking about on campus, at least, is for us to have. As a union, we're going to have a barbecue at the chaplain scene uh, next month, which is where we had all of our teach-outs. We're going to have a, a, joint meet, a, a joint event with the students who occupied and won a really significant victory occupying at Queen Mary, got bursaries reinstated. We're going to have a, 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 a joint staff and student meeting 
on how to you know, fight against the neoliberal university in the autumn. Because you need to do something, because what we've seen since the deal was done is that we've had two branch meetings that have not even been for it. <laughs> we weren't even able to pass motions in them. And that's a problem, because actually a lot of people who were engaged and enthused around the strike aren't engaged and enthused about coming to branch meetings that are actually quite boring, quite small. And, and, and that is an ongoing challenge, I think, that, that socialists who are trying to knit these things together um, will, always, will, will, will always face. Um, uh, and yeah, I think that on this thing about students on campus, I, I mean, Ian, you're, you might be talking about a very particular situation that you're facing on your campus. I think it's I, quite Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't think that, the, yeah. from, my, from my reading of things at the moment, at least, I don't think that the dynamic in the student movement is one where people who are getting engaged and are getting involved are pulled or attracted by lazy populism or, 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 that, kind, or, or that kind of thing. There's always a, an issue, but it's in, in unions, in movements, and certainly in student unions. I mean, this is something that Colin has talked about in terms of social movements or revolutions or whatnot. You know, in any, in any big social process, actually a huge number of people are just passive and not doing any, uh, are not doing anything. And there's a, and in fact, a lot of the, the, the movement and the, the, the arguments that are going on are about the people who are engaged. And so, in fact, in some ways, you know, when you look at a student campus, it's always going to be the case, almost always going to be the case, that most people on campus are not engaged one way or another. But there's a question about how do you, what, what are the arguments that are, go, that are going on amongst those people who are engaged or are coming into engagement? And I think that that is, at the moment, that picture is very favorable. Um, for, for us, by and large. Um, and so, yeah, these questions about how you bring it together students, workers, and all kinds of different uh, activists in ongoing structures, ongoing processes that can, can keep people engaged, can keep these conversations going, uh, and develop some capacity, I think, are the things that we, we're all going to be faced with over the next few months. And we're having a crack at it at Queen Mary. We're going to have a try at having this thing in the autumn and, and, and seeing, seeing what comes out of it. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else wants me to touch on anything. I, do, I, I think that it's, it's worth remembering that when, when there is a lack of kind of political organizing or interest, you know, it's not, it, it's all by design. And if you look at student unions today, councils, even like councils, just the ability to come together and pass policy and to hold your officer team to account, that elected leadership, and to, um, to guide the direction of your student union that is supposed to be there for you, um, doesn't exist. And if that doesn't exist, you can... You know, you can understand why everything else just kind of falls apart around you. <laughs> uh, but at least you're there and you're having that fight, and I think that is really yeah. important. Um, and and even if you don't see kind of a base forming in your time, uh, it will happen just because the direction of things is getting worse and worse. Uh, and and you know, because of that, people are forced into action. We can't continue living like this. It's just, it's impossible. Um, and I think that, yeah, it's, and in relation to prevent, like, these, in whatever campaigns you're involved in, the actions, like, there, there is most of the time a way to weave it into that um, and, and to ensure, because particularly if we're talking about the global fight against uh, uh, capitalism and, and, and the other. You know, uh, problems that manifest uh, from that people, countries are mimicking um, this country's uh, counter-terrorism strategies and um, we are seen as the, example, like the leading example as far as the war on terror goes uh, and people are amazed that the you know, neighbouring countries, particularly across Europe, were amazed that counter-terrorism and security act was passed with such ease uh, for our government um, you know, which which shows you the direction that we're headed in. So, yeah, resist. Mm -hmm. Thank you.